Hey guys, today I'm going to go over a contract for a token called Sidra. And what I specifically want to focus on is that they have a function in their contract that allows the contract to sell uh, their tax tokens, but only at very specific times and for a very specific amount. And I want to show how that works in the contract. So I've pulled the contract over in the VS Code to be able to get a better view of it and to be able to search it better. So what we're going to focus on is the transfer function here. The transfer function here has some logic in it that will only trigger the cell if very specific uh, criteria are involved. So just to show you what prompted this question is that somebody noticed that, as you can see here, there's a cell here attached to another cell for about 0.1 ETH. It also happened here. But what you don't see is it happening on every cell. It only happens on very specific cells. Why is that? Well, let's go take a look and I'll show you why. So in the transfer function here, you see if the from and to is not the owner and the address is not the contract address, then we move on. So if the take fees is true, we move on again. So take, take fees basically says if you're not on the excluded list and you're not the owner, then we move on. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I wanna move down to, let's find it where it specifically is a cell. So it says if the from address is not the market pair, so it's just a normal address, and the to address is the market pair, so somebody is swapping the token back into the market pair, so they're selling it. Um, now here's the part where, really, where, where we really wanna look is that the contract token balance is equal to the balance of this address. So let's go take a look at what the contract token balance is currently. And we see that it is 6,434 tokens, okay? So that's the contract token balance. So if it's more than zero, which it clearly is, then we're gonna start doing this. So token amount equals get token price. So what is get token price and how is that defined? Well, let's go take a look. So get token price is the path is with to this token okay so what they're saying is they're calling the router and they're saying get amounts out so if i wanted this much eth okay well, let's go see how much this eth is hmm okay so it's set as a public variable and that's how much it was initiated at so let's go see if it's been changed at all um ETH price to set, to swap. Okay, so 0.1 ETH. Okay, so they're saying, so they're saying right here, if I have 0.1 ETH and I swap it for this token, how much am I gonna get? Okay, so that's, so they're saying, how many tokens will I get back if I sell for 0.1 ETH? Now let's go back up to the transfer function. And so let's go, actually, let's go look at that answer because they have it set as a public variable. So if they sell, sold 0.1 ETH, they would get back 9,869. Now, why am I using this line specifically? Well, because I went and I looked and you have to see how many decimals they have for their tokens. So they have nine decimals. So you're going to take nine spots off of this one, which is what this does for me. 10 to the minus nine power. Okay, so let's go back to the contract and we see now if contract token balance, which was currently 6,000 something, is greater than or equal to the token amount, which was 9,800, and this is set as false because this gives you the, the opposite, then you're going to swap the tokens for ETH and you're going to swap the token amount for ETH. So if you recall, this token amount was how many tokens you would get if you sold 0.1 ETH worth. So basically you're saying, hey, I want to sell that amount of tokens to get about 0.1 ETH worth. And that's why we see over here almost 0.1 ETH when it sells. And the reason why it doesn't sell on every sell is because this number is not always... So this number is not always higher than this number. 
And if it's not, then it goes to the next one. So hopefully that answers any questions about how those kind of contracts work. I'd be more than happy to go into any more detail if there are other questions. And I would also enjoy looking at other contracts. So if you have more contracts you'd like me to take a look at or functions you would like to have me explain, please throw them in the comments and I'll be more than happy to uh, dig in and try to explain what I can.